Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we are going to change the oil on this motorcycle. Yes, it's VTX 1800C version C and yeah, I'm just gonna open it up, remove this cover. I haven't, I haven't been riding for a very long time, but anyway time to open the season because it's very hot outside I would say for the April so yeah it's my motorcycle and it's time to change the oil I haven't changed the oil since the beginning of the last season I was riding around just I think 3,000 miles on the same oil so it's time to change every season it's better to change the oil also, some of you ask me uh, what lifter do I use? Well, I use this Active Products. It's a cat. It just crashed. Active Products. I don't know even the detailed name of this. Just bought it on uh, eBay or something. It's China made. So it's pretty much okay for this uh, motorcycle. I can lift up to half a ton on this lifter and my motorcycle weights not more than uh, 400 kilos so it's quite okay for this lifter I'm just gonna lift it up uh, then we're gonna uh, ride it over there and start up friends we are now outside the birds are singing and this motorcycle is quite dirty I need to wash it as you can see I haven't washed it since last season so it's very dirty and after the oil change of course I'll wash it I like my VTX and it's time to start it have the key there it's a first star for this season we'll see how will it start I haven't disconnected the accumulator battery uh, it's down there so usually I remove it for the winter time but this season I was just lazy enough not to do it let's start perfect it's a first star guys you can see so yeah, the engine is cold, so it starts quite a key. You can see I can hold my hand everywhere. So it wasn't it wasn't warmed up before the start. I like it. So my friends, the motorcycle is warming up outside and I have time to prepare for oil change. So here is the oil that I want to put there. It's 5 by 40 It's not standard oil, I would say. Uh, the standard is 10W40. So I'll try this one anyway. I know that it's not fake oil. It's real oil. Oh, it was delivered by official website of this Xado uh, manufacturer. It's Dutch made. So I have four, four liter canister here and just in case one liter canister. The oil capacity for VTX it should be around uh, 4.2 liters. So around one gallon of oil should be there. Also I need three tires, three car tires, some pieces of wood for side stand and I'm just going to lift it up. Also, just for good, I need the empty canister like this one. I use it uh, GM motor oil for my car. So actually, I'll cut the hole here and later on I'll drain the oil, the used oil to this canister. OK, 
Okay, it's okay. I think it's enough for for warming up. As you can see, I have total of almost thirty thousand miles uh, on this motorcycle. Then I bought it. It had uh, thirteen thousand miles, so um, almost like uh, seventeen uh, thousand miles on this motorcycle. I don't think it's a lot since I bought it almost eight years ago, but I rarely, nowadays I rarely use it. Okay. It's time to lift it, lift it up again. Okay, let's see if we can put the wheel. Yes. Let's try to put it down just gently. So we have motorcycle now standing on three car tires. Have a lot of space. Have a lot of space down here. All right, my friends. Whoa, I need to clean this thing. <laughs> so I need to arrange this nut over here, this drain nut. And so we're here. It's one more nut, but I need to clean this mess. Eye protection is quite important. So yeah, this drain over here, that should be it. All right, my friends, let's just cut this canister. Still some oil left there. We also need to unplug the inlet to unscrew for better drain. So here's the inlet. Okay guys, let's unscrew the first drain. It's quite hard. Oh. I need to have some gloves maybe, but... The oil will be very warm. All right, perfect. So we are draining the oil. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit brown, black color. And here, guys, is a drain nut, and I have magnet here uh, to check if there's some kind of metal parts, but I don't see any metal, so the engine should be fine. I would recommend to use this one with a magnet to attract some tiny metal particles. Okay, my friends, we have some droplets there and also you can see we have filter. So with every oil change, we need to change oil filter as well. That's my dog, by the way. It has, it has two wheels <laughs> as well. <laughs> hey, hello, hello, hello. See, chrome tires. Uh, so this dog has uh, paralyzed legs and my father constructed this construction to hold it to hold the legs nice dog nice dog and that's the main drain uh, nut here I will just Screw it with my hand and now I'll try to unscrew the oil filter over here. Well, I have life hack after all. If you've seen my videos before, I did some life, life hack how to unscrew the oil filter with a screw. So let's try it once again. 
I need the small screw like this one. So my friends to unscrew the oil filter we need this uh, screwdriver, the small one and the hammer. I'm just, just gonna try it. Like a hole. Deep hole there. And I'll try to unscrew it. And let's unscrew forward a uh, drain nut. I think Harmer will help me with that. All right. So drain some oil from the forward part as well. And for the new one, I have K and N performance uh, filter the oil filter with the wrench you can unwrench it and not to do any other stuff like i just did so you can just put your wrench over here and unwrench it weather very easy i'll put, put it in place right now just right now has some some oil here but just in case i put some extra on this rubber and here as well should be fine and just wrench it with my hand force I don't need any wrenches wrenches just this force should be on the, no. but this uh, drain nut will screw. It's better to have the torque range, but I don't have it because this alloy, and you can, if you damage this nut, it will be a big problem. So I will not put a lot of force wrenching it in. Also, don't put a lot of force with your wrench. Otherwise, you can damage your bottom of the cutter. And further, you may weld. Okay, that should be it. All right, my friends, it's time to get some oil inside. And we'll just open it. Wow, what a smell. Interesting. <laughs> Quite an unusual smell. All right. I use full synthetic oil because it has better characteristics in a warm climate and we have very warm summers in my country. Probably one liter left, I don't know. And just make sure that the oil is inside. All right, now we should wait a little bit to check the oil level. And we also have another dog. Uh, they were taken just from the street by my parents. They love animals. Oh, you're stuck, buddy. You're stuck here. Come on. There, yeah, we're happy friends. <laughs> Took this dog from the street. It was literally dying. And now it's, it's also happy. Yeah? Are you happy? Are you happy? I don't know the breed. Probably there is no any breed for these dogs. <laughs> It was it was trying to to walk, but after a while we realized that it's paralyzed forever. The after legs paralyzed, as you can see. But with good care, it can live. It's a very nice dog. 
Okay. You're a nice dog. You're a nice dog. You can walk with your own feet here on the grass. But don't go away from the grass. Okay. Come on. Nice girl. So guys, it's the construction. It's like a Roman chariot. <laughs> Quite nice. My father just welded here and there. And now I can place the belly here and can ride. So while waiting for the oil level to stabilize, I will also check this uh, filter, the air filter. It's a lot of oil in here. And here as well. Anyway, 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 I'll just change it because I I see it's uh, it just has some oil inside. So just clean it here and change the air filter. It's definitely not very, not very clean, I would say. These are okay, the inlets. Mm. Should be fine and clean. Yeah, it is quite okay and clean. So I think you need to change the air filter at least once in the season or maybe once in a 3000 miles or something. Here I have the new one, Heflo Filtro, the same that I have just removed. I like standard filters, I also have KNN with me, but I think this one is better. So it's better to change more often for this one than just to lubricate the KNN. I think this one is it's much better. All right, let's check the oil level. Ah, we have some oil level. It's nice. So now let's start the motorcycle. Uh, to start the motorcycle, we need to lift it up again. Alright my friends, we are now outside and what I'm gonna do is just to start start the engine. Let it let it work for a few minutes and then we'll check the oil level once again. So my friends, here we go. I put all the gallon there, four liters of oil. And we have I don't know whether you can see it, but oil is within limits. So we'll put it back and that's it for today.